Hope everyone had a good Monday or a good weekend. Happy Monday. This week we're gonna focus on upper body, so it's gonna be a strength day, focusing on strictly the upper body. So pressing, pulling today, all right? So starting off with the warm-up, have that PVC handy. We're gonna do 15 arm circles forward and backwards, and don't pause between these. Go right from one directly to the next. Right after that, big hugs. So throw those arms back slow at first. Then gradually pull up the speed for the front of the shoulders and the chest. Right after that, we're gonna go over and back. So tight abs on this, throw the arms up and back. You should feel a good stretch in the armpit lat area. 10 to 15 of those as well. From there, arms out to the side, 90. Internal and external rotators, 10 of them. So make sure we're pressing through pretty aggressively for each one for a good second or two. Again, feel the burn on this. Once you're set with those, go ahead, grab your PVC pipe. We're gonna do three sets of five. So first set of five, super wide, not too much stretch there. Creep those hands in a little bit, five more. And for the final set, you guessed it one more time still. After your presses, go ahead, lower it right to your back. We're gonna go and do 10 trunk twists, all right? So again, make sure your shoulders are burning a little bit. If you need to, go through that one or two times. Once you're set there, we're gonna go on to the adding the weight portion. So we're gonna do the movements we're gonna do in the workout today, all right? So first one we're gonna do is with a dumbbell, and we're gonna work with dumbbells for all these today. If you don't have the dumbbell, yes, the barbell works fine, but try to start with something light. So if you don't have a lighter dumbbell, grab a milk cart and just something that's lighter than what you're gonna use. We're gonna do five to 10, strict press right arm, five to 10, strict left. From there, we're gonna bend on over, hinge at the hip, kind of like we're coming down at the bottom of our deadlift. We're gonna do five to 10 dumbbell rows with the right arm and the left. Notice the motion, the, bar, the dumbbell starts underneath the shoulders, we're rowing it up to the hip. Same thing with the barbell, palms towards you, starts on the shoulders, row it into your belly button. Again, five to 10 there. Once you're set there, we're gonna come on down to the floor. And then we're gonna finish up with 10 floor press, all right? So control on the way down, because obviously when we come through, the floor's gonna stop the elbow. So don't just lower it fast, because you can end up with the weight on it, you can end up slamming your elbow pretty good. So strong up, pull that belly button to the ground, control slow on the way down, and again, five, 10. And I did go a little bit out of order, so before you go to that ground, you're more than welcome to do these first. The fourth one today, we're gonna do upright rows. All right, so just like in our cleans, we're leading with the elbow. Keep the elbow and wrist above the weight. Stop when you can no longer do so, but five to 10 reps there, okay? Go ahead through that two or three times until the body starts feeling warm. Let me get the rest of my stuffs. So we've done this in the past. The way the format's gonna work, you have an A and a B component. You go from part A directly to part B with no rest, all right? So for example, first one we have single arm shoulder press and upright row. So you're gonna do anywhere from 12 to 15 strict press. Once you're set there, go right with that same arm into your 12 to 15 upright rows, no break. Once you're finished with one arm, go to the other side, perform the same reps you did as the right side or the hot side you did prior, all right? Once you're set with both arms, rest one minute, and we're gonna repeat that three times. Once you've gone through all three sets, you get a two minute rest before we move on to the next section. The next section is gonna be single arm bent over rows, and then we're gonna to go to our floor presses, all right? So same concept, start with one arm, do both movements. So bent over rows, hinge at the hip, just like you're at the bottom of your deadlift. Roll up to your hips, squeeze for a sec. Elbow pointed back, tight to the side. 15 or 12 to 15 reps there. And again, same arm. Don't change to the floor. Try to perform the same amount of reps with your chest press. Flip to the other side, do the same thing. Once you're done with your three sets, two minute rest. Last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna finish up with some abs today, all right? So again, A and B component. We're starting with hanging knee raises. So that's where we hang from the bar, 
bring the knees up on in. If you don't have the bar to hang from, we're gonna switch it to V-ups. So you're gonna lay on your back, hinge up, touch the toes, all in one motion, all right? We're going for about 15 reps there. And with no pause in between, and feel free to add weight to this, we're going right into Russian twists. So you're gonna bounce up on your butt, pull those abs in, back and forth 20 times. So one, two, that is one, one, two, that is two. We're trying to get to 20 reps on that. Rest a minute, repeat that for three sets as well. So this isn't gonna be done with you guys, this is something extra. We are trying to keep this an upper body day. Some got some those want to get stronger arms. So I'm also adding in extra credit. You're more than welcome to do this on your own. You don't have to, but I also put in bicep curls and tricep extensions. So a couple of different ways you can do this. You can do them one arm or two arm. It's up to you on this, but bicep curls, we're going hammer, elbow stay still. Think about trying to get ahead of that dumbbell to the, to the shoulder or the bicep. Again, 12 to 15 reps, both sides and then tricep extensions. You can use it with a dumbbell, hinge forward, kick back, but the other option is you can also use a band for both of these. So step right in the middle, you can do your curls, and then you can also do your extension. So if you step on the back part, I would just recommend one side at a time, and you can do your extensions that way. Have it out in front of you, all are also good examples, all right? So that is the workout for today. Going to recovery, hit the shoulders pretty good. So let's start with arm across, hold it in for 20 seconds, both sides. Once you're set there, grab that PVC pipe again. Play with the grip a little bit on this. We're gonna pull it behind our head, pull those elbows down and back. You should feel this mostly in your chest. Hold for 30 seconds, and then we're gonna finish up with 10 slow pass-throughs. So even count to three if you need to, but this should be mostly in the shoulders, all right? Hope everyone has a good